I am, I am being there, Charlie, man. And y'all back tuned into my YouTube channel. One of the greatest, one of the best. I'm undisputed, undefeated, the best in the world like Terrence Crawford and Arrow Spence. You know? Ali in his prime. Bah, bah, bah. I am the greatest YouTube channel. Me. You tuning in to the best, man. You heard it first from me. You know what I'm saying? Norfolk, Virginia, stand up. DMV, you know what I mean? Shock City. You know what I'm talking about? VA, man. Tyler Park, gang. You know what I'm talking about? Hit that like. Hit that subscribe button for me, man. And all we doing is positivity on my channel. No negative stuff. No negative comments. And we're going to get into the news. I bring it to you first thing. Updated, real, and real action. You know? I love y'all out there, man. And for all my fans and all the people that support me all over the world, that love, I am being there, Charlie. You see me in the street, I am being there, Charlie, you know? And salt crystal, for all you negative people, salt. Get on out, get up on out of here, man. Salt crystal gang, you know what I'm saying? But we're going to get into a few things, man. We're going to talk a little bit about Cowboy, D.L. Hughley comments on uh, Nipsey Hussle, you know what I'm saying, um, being a, a light pop and uh, having some characteristics of Jesus. And we're also going to talk about our love and why we got love for Nip, you know what I'm saying, respectfully, man. But first off, we're going to start off with Cowboy, man. I just seen a new interview with Cowboy. A dude did an interview with him or whatever. You know what I'm saying, hold up. Pause the tape. But yeah, they did an interview with him or whatever, man. And um, when I seen it, I thought it was—I thought it just gave off the wrong message, man. And I hate to say this, but I'm gonna have to be honest and I'm gonna be real, man. When I seen it, it just seemed like, man, our culture, man, it's just like it's so. Like when I watch Love and Hip Hip Hop, I get embarrassed when I see that because it's like, why our women and why our men gotta be portrayed in those images? You know what I'm saying? I'm a person that really believe in black unity. I'm really like. The, the, the Tupac, I, I like the Tupac. I know Tupac was a gangster and all of that, but I love the part of him that understood black culture, man, our culture, man, and understood that we need to love one another. You feel what I'm saying? I know he had the gangster stuff and all of that, but it's that part that we need to get back to, man. And when I seen the interview, I just thought it was despicable. You know what I'm saying? The questions was despicable. It just seemed like a joke or some type of game. You know what I'm saying? It was to me, it just was real lame to me. You know what I'm saying? And that's just my honest opinion. The dude that did it, it just seemed whack to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being honest, man. It's like, bro, if you was gonna interview a, a cowboy about anything, my question would have been simply, it wouldn't have been about no, uh, did you have something to do with it? That was like, why would somebody ask him a question like that? Like, all oh, these conspiracy, why would I do it? Then this the thing that made me even more <laughs> like, dang. Bro tripping. So bro get on camera and say, oh, everybody in these fake, this cowboy, everybody in these fake accounts and stuff like that on Worldwide. It's like, bro, why would you put a threat out there on the internet? Like, so anybody that's talking about Nip or talking about the conspiracy or anything, you just, if anything happened to them, it's going to lead back to you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So why would you make a statement on the internet and the dude actually uploaded it? Like, that's, that's like, bro, that's telling on yourself, bro. Like, you never do stuff like that. Like, you threatening somebody. So, anybody that's talking about this and something happened to them, you going to jail, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, straight like that, bro. It's like, why would you even put something like that? That's why I be saying, bro. Like, why y'all do stuff that don't make sense like this? So, I'm looking at the interview, I'm like, so that's it. Did you really do it? Was it? All these internet people and all these fake accounts and all of this on worldwide. It's like, bro, I wouldn't even say that. If that if I was there, I would be like, bro, come on, bro. That was my man's. Like if I'm sitting there talking to cowboy on man and man, I'm like, bro, that's your man's. Hey, man, come on, bro. Y'all get out of here with it, all that. I'm not even doing the interview <laughs> that long with a nigga, man. Like, I'm like, bro, I ain't do that, bro. And that's facts, bro. I ain't got nothing to say, bro. That that's this week, bro. Why you even ask me that, bro? Like, that's how I would have been coming. Like, bro, why you asking me something crazy? Like, it would have probably been a fight, bro. Like, for somebody to ask me about my, my homie that just passed and saying I had something to do with it, even walking up, asking me a question like that. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, bro, like, people just be crazy. I would have never done an interview asking him a question like that. I would have asked, bro, this is what I would have asked him. 
about it would have been more about the footage and then i would have asked him about the snitching on allegations that people have been talking about was that real those are two questions i would have asked him the footage and then the snitching allegation i would have never came to him about no he did it and stuff like that now he on camera saying oh yeah i'm in every city i know people everywhere yeah all fit it's like bro he making threats on on the internet bro on the internet. So anybody get touched, he's going to be right there, bro. Because you got footage of him saying that. Come on, bro. Why would you upload that on Cowboy, bro? If that's your man, how why would you upload something like that? That don't make sense to me, bro. I would never upload something like that where a man, he's saying threats on the, on the joint, bro. It's like, bro, and you upload it. Now everybody got it. This is what I be saying, man, y'all. <laughs> Y'all be tripping, bro, on the internet. You can't talk like that on the internet. This is this is, that'll get you locked up, bro. Like you can't make threats like that and then think ain't nothing gonna happen. I was like, why would that boy? Why would he interview him and he's saying threats to people, everybody? You know what I'm saying? And then you uploaded it. It's like, bro, I ain't gonna say no more. I ain't gonna say. I'm, I'm trying to. I'm like, bro, that was just not smart, bro. Why would you upload him threatening everybody, bro? Like it just, and then that make that didn't even make everybody else case, right? This my whole thing is this, man. And, and I'm gonna be honest. And if I was sitting down right with Cowboy right to this day, I would be honest and I would be real with him. Man and man, he said, when he said something about somebody walking in the room, shut up and all of this. Man and man, bro. If I was looking at him, I'm in LA or whatever the case may be. I'm looking at him in face to face, man to man, bro. This is not a one person thing that's saying that you they, they think you conspired to be involved with this. I don't know personally. I wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? But like I keep saying to you, I can tell everybody on this video right now, if you believe Cowboy did it, put your where you from, California, LA, Chicago, whatever, and put a check mark beside it, a green check mark. I guarantee you, you got over a thousand people that believe Cowboy had something to do with it. Everybody that don't believe he has something to do it, put a black check or put no. And if y'all do believe he did it, put a green check or put yes. What city you from and all of that. Can we, let's see if my theory right. It's thousands of people that believe that he has something to do with it. Now, was it true? Was it not true? We don't know. You feel what I'm saying? He could tell everybody to shut up. But it's millions of, <laughs> of Nipsey Hussle fans out here, man, that's believing that. A hundred percent, bro. It, even in California, bro. So that's why I say when you make comments about threatening people, every eye is on you. It's all over the it's all over the internet now. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, bro, if you gonna interview him, he's saying that you gotta do like Charlemagne do, bro. So bro, don't 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 incriminate yourself, bro. Don't say that on camera. That's what I would have said. I would say, bro, don't say that on camera, bro. I would have edited that out and wouldn't even would have aired that, bro. You got him on camera. I'm like, bro, is that even your man? Why would he upload something like that, bro? Like, I'm not uploading nothing like that when he making threats, bro. Like, that's going to get him knocked off, bro. Why would you upload that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that he lit realized and said, bro, I'm everywhere in their city. And, yeah, bro, woo the woo. I'm like, bro, don't say that on the camera, bro. Like, what's wrong? Like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong, bro. But I'm saying you make a threat and you get everybody up there. There's something happening to somebody that's making uh, videos or whatever the case may be. It's coming right back to Cowboy. Because <laughs> he uploaded that video, bro. If he never uploaded that video, it wouldn't be there. And then the question that he asked him, that was stupid, bro. Why would you ask a man that just lost his man that question? Like, why would you ask him that, bro? Like, <laughs> And then he actually did the interview, which I commend him on that because I would have... It, there's no way you coming up on me asking me no question like that, and I just lost my man. If it ain't a gang of people around ready to thump, just you asking that question. Like, bro, come on, bro. You don't ask no man that. That's his man. Let's see his man's, and you you come ask him a crazy question like that, bro. Like I say, maybe, I don't know, maybe Cowboys is not really on it like that. You know what I'm saying? But I know, and ain't no street guy I know with. You, they just lost their home, and somebody walk up and ask him a question like that. It be on, bro. <laughs> I don't care if you're on the same set, bro. They fighting, bro. For real, you just don't play like that. Nigga, people don't. I don't know. Now, like I said, California, different place. They got different uh, politics. But where I'm from, you couldn't do that, bro. <laughs> like, for real, bro. You can't walk up to nobody and just say something like that, bro. Nigga, it, be, it be fighting, bro. Like, for real, you just don't play with stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, dang, he actually did the interview? 
And then when he was saying, I was like, dang, bro, why would he say that on the camera, bro? Like, oh, man, Cowboy, you messed up doing that, man. But like I say, man, you got the whole world believing that, bro. And it, and it ain't no nothing nobody saying, bro. That's the thing. I'm if I was saying that to Andrew Cowboy, I would tell him this, bro. It's nothing that nobody on the internet is saying. It's your actual interviews that you did that made everybody feel like it was a fishy or a funny situation. Because of when they go back and analyze the footage of you on camera and you said three minutes, they looking at the camera and they doing the timing on it. They saying that it was way past that period of time that you were saying. Now, you may have been nervous or you may have been in the lunchroom just enjoying your food and then keep time. Uh, it was just too much going on at one time. But like I say, don't do interviews if you're not going to give out accurate information because everybody's analyzing your information that you've given out. Everybody's analyzing it, man. Every YouTuber. Everybody on Facebook, every Nick City Hustle fan, every police officer in L.A. that's doing the case with Eric Holder, they're analyzing these conversations. So when you doing, you're going on the media and you say that, then you come back on another media show and say something different, then it's going to look crazy. Like, that's what you, I know you may have been in shock or this just happened. I don't do the interview, bro, at all, bro. You know, then let's get, let's get more in deep into to this cowboy thing, Okay. He actually said he seen Eric Holder. You know what I'm saying? In the hood, you know what I'm saying? It's not everybody is, is cool with a person being a snitch. Now, is they going to look at him in the, as a snitch in his hood? You know what I'm saying? Because he going to have to get on the stand because he seen them. And he said he seen them run away from the scene. You know what I'm saying? Either he seen them or he didn't see them. Is he going to take the stand or he ain't going to take the stand? You know what I mean? That's considered that snitching. Is that cool with, the, with, with who you with in your gang life? You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like, there's a lot to go with this. And like I keep saying to everybody, man, respectfully, I don't know Cowboy. I don't know nothing about this individual. I don't know if he had something to do with it or he didn't have nothing to do with it. My whole thing is this. You making threats on the internet, they going to look at that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They gonna, everything he doing on the internet that these people doing, he running around, ah, yeah, shut your mouth. And all. I'm like, bro, that interview was so bad, bro. And I'm, I'm telling you, bro, that's going to hurt, hurt everybody at the long run. That was not a smart interview to do, and that was not a smart interview to put out to the public, man. It wasn't, bro, at all, bro. And I'm about to tell you, bro, me knowing the information, if you know my background, you know I know a lot of information on these type of things. So it's like that right there is bad, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, that's bad. And then just let something just happen to an individual that has this was talking or whatever. It's going to come all right back to Cowboy, everything, because he sent threats out when he said his comment, and the bro uploaded this to the internet for views. I just don't think it was smart, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, and I know legal stuff that that wasn't smart, bro, at all, especially when all this going on in the, in the heat of the moment. And then you got a lot of fans and a lot of Nipsey Hustle lovers that's looking at that and like, I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? This is getting crazy, bro. Like I keep saying, man. He gonna have to take the stand. Is he gonna he gonna have to make a writer statement? He gonna give up the name. That's considered that snitching, right? In the hood, that's snitching, right? Point blank period. That's a snitch. If a person writes statements and all of that, that's considered a snitch. Rain, sleep, snow. That's a snitch. Is he going on the stand? Is he doing that? Is y'all gonna still respect him for doing that? You know what I'm saying? Do I have a comment about it? I don't have nothing to say about it. I let everybody else make their comments. You know what I'm saying? I don't got nothing to say about it, man. I live uh, <laughs> a righteous life. You feel what I'm saying? I don't gang bang or none of that. That's about old lifestyle. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not into none of that stuff no more. You know what I'm saying? I'm more spiritual, man, and living a positive life, raising kids, man. But like I say, as far as me and me growing up in the streets and me knowing street cats, a snitch is a snitch. If you get on the stand and you go tell the stories and you write the statements, they will consider him a snitch. Is he going to still be loved the same way if you go on that stand and he snitched? For a person that he got love for. You know what I'm saying? They're going to look at him the same. But like I say, that dude that did an interview, it's like, bro, why would you put that on the internet, bro? <laughs> it's, just, it's tarnishing cowboy name and more. Like, he needs somebody like me, man, because I'm a real person. That individual that did that was just doing clout chasing, bro. I would have never done that, bro. I would have edited that out. I would say, bro, nah, we ain't doing it up here, bro. We ain't doing no threatening and none of that, bro. We're going to just keep it all positive, bro. Just speak your piece. Without all the negative stuff. Because now, you you pissed off a lot of people by saying that, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I keep saying, a lot of people, bro. Nipsey fans. You got to understand, people love Nipsey. They don't love Cowboy. You know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't have no type of connection 
to the cowboy individual. He may know some of the people in Nipsey's circle, but we talk to people that ain't in the circle, that's outside the circle that's looking in, and you making comments like that when people got love for him. You know what I'm saying? You saying stuff like that, it's going to look even more fishy to more people. Okay, let's do the court case for a minute, right? Eric, hold the court case. Okay, let's get into this, man. They got so much internet stuff and stuff all over the internet with Cowboy and all of this stuff that they got enough case to bring him in on a lot of stuff. That's why I keep saying when you make a do an interview, bro, you can't just... It's almost like the Kodak Black thing. Like, you can't just say anything, bro. Because it's going to come off the wrong way. That came off really the wrong way. You see what I'm saying? Like, really the wrong way. I was just like, damn, why wish bro would have never said? He might be innocent as hell, bro. I don't know. I wasn't there. He might be super innocent. But I'm like, bro, those type of statements like that make you look guilty. Because it's like, when for a person innocent, bro, I'm like, bro, go ahead, bro. I'm not talking about that, bro. Go ahead. On, on front, that's what they do. You know what I'm saying? On front, they not even, I'm not going on count. The gangsters is people I know where they wouldn't did an interview. <laughs> like, I'll be honest, they would have never done an interview. Ever. Like they would have never done an interview, bro. I promise you they would. They don't even do Facebook. Like people I don't even do Facebook like that, man. That's really banging or any out there like they don't even do Facebook, man. <laughs> like for real. I'm, I'm just being honest. They don't do Facebook, they don't Instagram, none of that. Only people I see do that is like the showtime type of people. Like, the real ones in the trenches, they don't have no records of, like, interviews or stuff like that because they really live by that code. And they're not going to write no statements or nothing. And they ain't even going to make no comments about it. You know what I'm saying? It just would be politics from, from then on. That's why I keep saying the cowboy thing, man. I don't know how sticky that. I don't know how LA is as far as that, you know, the snitching thing or stuff like that. I don't know how they get down out there. But, like, New Orleans, from the south, New Orleans, D.C., or Philly, all these places like that, Chicago, like, that is not a cool thing to do. And I'm telling you it ain't, you know what I'm saying? For real, you know what I'm saying? And that's why I'm like, I'm trying to say like, is, is, is that what he gonna be considered as, you know what I'm saying? Like me, personally, like I say, I'm, I'm a father. I don't really live in that lifestyle, but the people that I know that's in that lifestyle, they don't play that type of thing, you know what I'm saying? It's like, the snitching thing is like, it's not unacceptable. Completely, you know what I'm saying? But like I say, man, everybody got their own opinion and stuff like that. But like me, I think if he's in that lifestyle still, I think it's going to be dangerous. Because if you if you would snitch on this, you would snitch on anybody. And I think that's how people are going to look at it, you know what I'm saying, from that standpoint. And that's why I keep feeling like um, bro should have never did any interviews at all. And then the last interview he just did that I just seen, I was like, bro, why did, man, why did, why did bro upload that video, man? They're going to use all this stuff in court, man. They're going to use all of this, bro. <sighs> that was bad, bro. Dang, cowboy. I, man, I wish I could have sat down with him and had a conversation, bro. I would say, bro, don't say that on the camera, bro. Like, anybody come up missing, anybody get hit, anything happen to anybody, they're going to bring it back to him, bro. Every time, bro. That's why I keep saying he shouldn't have been on the internet saying that, bro. Why would you say that, bro? Like, bro, that's feelings you keep. That's why I was like, the whole Kodak thing. That's just like, bro, you can't be on the internet. You can't say anything on the internet. They analyze and they looking at it over and over again, bro. And then as far as the, the, thing, the news, he should have never did the news thing either, man. This is going to get crazy, man. That's why I say this court. Y'all think that it's crazy and with the social media, YouTubers and stuff. like. It's going to be crazy when that court case comes. Bro, they got so much information. <laughs> all that circulating uh, conspiracies, they're gonna use all of that. That's why I keep feeling Eric Holder 99% of the like, I, I, it's almost 99% that he might get off, bro. And I'm gonna give y'all another reason why I think he might get off because it's a lot of people that Nipsey Hustle hang with that resemble, bro. That's the thing that's so crazy because, like, they showed a picture. Uh, the, they say, allegedly, they said the baby mama had him in the house, and then I, I see another report that say that was not Eric Holder, that was somebody else. And they looked at the shape of the head and all of that, and they seen there was like a difference in tattoos and all of that. And I'm saying, dang, but don't he look just like bro? It make it more of a conspiracy because if you got so many, and then they had a friend of Milsey that looked just like bro. Everybody from the gang thought it was him, like from like the rap game I'm talking about, thought it was him. It was like, oh, stop, why bro do that? Everybody thought it was his friend because they thought it was that individual. 
That's why I keep saying it's gonna be confusing, bro. Like this gonna be crazy because they gonna be like they 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 gonna use that, bro. All these people that look just like Eric Holder, they gonna bring them in. They gonna bring them in, man. I'm telling you, bro. Look, listen to what I'm telling y'all, man. They gonna bring him in, bro. That person looked like him. The other dude that looked just like Eric Holder. And then Cowboy said, I, we know this guy. It make it more suspicious, bro. They like, is the Eric Holder he knew or was it one of his friends? He ain't saying no now. He said he ain't, I don't know if he snitching. I don't know if he is going to snitch. I don't know what he going to do. But like, if he do snitch and he, and like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, bro. Most of the people, that dude that was in her house looked just like Eric Holder. Conspiracy, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, I, I, I just speak the facts, bro. I'm a Norfolk cat, Norfolk VA, dog, Tower of the Park. You know what I mean? I just speak facts, bro, and I see what I see, and everybody's seeing it. Those statements Cowboy made, which he should have never did those interviews, man. And then the last interview, bro, with the threats, I'm like, bro, no, bro, don't do that, bro. Why would you let that man post that, bro? That's going to be circulating, bro. They're going to use that, bro. I got love for LA and I got love for everybody out there, gangs or whatever. But, bro, why, bro? T man, y'all gotta have a conversation with Cowboy. Stop doing interviews, bro. Don't do no more interviews, bro, at all, bro. That looked like super bad, bro. For real, bro. If you ain't had nothing to do with it, stay. Like, like gangs say, stop talking, bro. Just don't say nothing else, bro. Just fall back, bro. Forget the internet, bro. Forget what people saying, bro. Don't worry about that. If you ain't nothing to do with it, let the smoke clear, bro. Because you making yourself look crazy with every time you talk, bro. Because they analyzing everything you say. If you say pizza one day and say hamburger the next day, they're going to be like, oh, why you say pizza? Why you say hamburger? You know what I'm saying? But you can't get mad at the person that actually listening to what you're saying. They analyzing it. And you saying something different in each joint, you got to say, oh, yeah, I did do that, bro. That was my bad, man. I ain't mean to do that. But to say, oh, shut up and this and all that, that's looking crazy, bro. Then the threats, it's like, I don't know, man. I, I just be speaking the truth and I just be real. When I look at this and this cowboy situation, I come out to say, bro, bro cowboy, man. Bro, 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 bro. I just feel like he in a lot of hot water right now as far as like, not just the internet. I feel like, Nipsey fans, and I believe there's a lot of people in L.A. that believe that. You know what I'm saying? They may not be out speaking it or saying it, just like I was watching this other uh, live, and the guy was talking about it. There's a lot of people in L.A. believe that. That's why I'm about to tell everybody, once again, whatever city you're from, put a green check if you believe Cowboy was involved with it. Put a black check if you don't believe he wasn't involved with it. Or put yes if you think he was and no if you think he won't. Put that on in the comments, bro. I want to show this man how many people believe that he was involved, dog? I want to show him. That's why I keep telling him, man, your comments can come off very dangerous, bro. And that's why I keep saying, just like Gang say, bro, it's best to just not talk at all, bro. Because they're going to use everything against you, bro. Even if you was innocent or whatever the case may be. And if they don't get their footage in front of the store, bro. Oh, my God. And there's another thing y'all need to know. They don't need audio to be able to read lips. <laughs> I hope y'all know that. If they got a close effect and be able to, they got people that that, that that do that. They got people that that's this is a big case. This is a humongous case. Remember this. This is gonna get analyzed to the fullest effect. So anybody who was involved gonna get exposed completely. So like I keep saying, everybody can say they wasn't involved, but when that court case start and they start calling people names. And they start bringing people to that, that trial to speak. And they them court, them lawyers get down on that stand. Okay. It's, it's lights, camera, action from that point forward. You see what I'm saying? It's not going to be no joke. It ain't going to be no game. It ain't going to be no internet thing no more. Because they're going to analyze it and they're going to put it out there. And we're going to see it. And we're going to know who's been lying. Who's been making up stories. Was it really about snitching? Was it just hate? Was it the Hoovers? Whoever was involved going to get exposed. You dig what I'm saying? The truth will the truth will come to the light. You see what I'm saying? And that's all I'm saying, bro. Now, you could continue to go on videos with people and do interviews. And the person that did, I was like, bro, I don't know your name. I don't know what kind of blog you is or whatever the case may be. But I'm never uploading that video. And, th and even if that's your partner, I'm not uploading that on my bro, man. That's, that's incriminating him, bro. Anything happens to somebody that's, bro, he, that's incriminating. He already sent threats out, bro. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, bro. That just I wouldn't have uploaded that, bro. And it make it look even more crazy. Like Gang said, bro. The Gang said from LA. Just be everybody. Just need to be quiet, bro. For real, like in the city, especially in that city, I would definitely be quiet. I would not be talking, bro. It's a good thing that's not Chicago, cause in Chicago it would have. Oh man, that was Chicago, man. I, I, man, the way everybody has been accusing him, bro. If that was Chicago, oh my gracious, I could just imagine, bro. You know, Chicago crazy, man. No, no boys out there don't play. You feel it? That was Chicago. Oh my gracious. You know, so I just feel like L.A. They got their gang life and stuff like that, but they not like wild like the Chicago thing. You know what I'm saying? Like Chicago, that that shit on the news. Shit, I rap like I think it's a little bit more calm. Or they still do their thing, but it's not like to that extent like that. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, the way it looks, it just it just I'm just saying, man. Everybody's saying the same thing about the fishy thing. Like I said, he could be a, a cowboy, could be a 100% innocent man. I just feel like if you're going to do an interview, you got to be consistent on every interview and say the same thing. You can't switch up what you were saying because if you do that, you're going to get crucified because everybody's analyzing your tape over and over again. They're watching this over and over. You can call it weirdo, whatever you want to call it. They are analyzing your tapes. Every time you make a comment, every time you make a statement, they are analyzing it, bro. You are going to be in court because you made a statement on the news saying that you seen the guy running away from the scene. Who is the guy that you seen, sir? You won't have to make a statement and write, and is that considered snitching if he do that? Ladies and gentlemen, y'all let me know in the comment section because he's going to have to take the stand. He's going to have to write a statement, point blank, period. Now, I don't know how California laws is. I know, <laughs> Virginia, you gotta make a statement, though. You know, I already got on the internet and said that's why I keep saying, bro, should have never made no comments, bro. He should have never did no interviews, bro. I keep saying this, bro. I'm like, gang, bro, he should have never did no interviews, bro, talking about that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know how people treat snitches in LA. I don't know that. I know well, down south how they do. They don't play that. <laughs> like, you hear what Boosie said about 6 9 He's when he came out the joint. He was doing goodbye. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much. Just like Boosie said. Louisiana, places like that. Uh, Georgia, D.C., you know what I mean? All, bro, Philly. Like, bro, they don't play that, bro. And also, like I said, I don't know how Cali do about snitching. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how they do about snitching in Cali. You know what I'm saying? I know where I'm from. They don't play that. You know what I'm saying? For real, bro. They don't play that down south, man, for real. I don't know how they do in L.A. That's why I say I don't know the politics of L.A. I'm not from L.A. I mean, I just hear a lot of people talking about it, but I'm not from there. I don't know how they do the snitching thing, so I don't know if he's going to get a pass if he tell us get on the stand or write a statement. Is he going to get a pass for that or later on? Because, like, it, it might get a, they might get him a pass now, but later on in life, they're going to probably look at him as a snitch. And I'm just saying, is he taking a stand? Is he writing statements? What is the case about this? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Like I say, man, I don't know Cowboy personally. I don't have no vendetta against this man. He a black brother just like me, a part of the culture. Like I say, but if, like I say, I, I don't have nothing against the individual. You know what I'm saying? I don't know his situation or what he had involved. If he was involved, he wasn't that involved. But like I keep saying, if you're doing interviews like this, bro, you're going you, you gonna to be in a lot of trouble if you keep doing interviews like this, bro. And, I, and I'm warning you, bro. The law not gonna take that and like anything happening to somebody by law, you're gonna be in a lot of trouble because you're making threats on the internet, bro. You gotta stop doing these interviews with people that's convincing you to, that it's okay to talk like that. Now I know in the street you can just talk like that, but not on the internet. That's the whole thing we was getting that code out of that about. You know what I'm saying? It's just not cool, bro. But anyway, let me get off that, man. Y'all hear what I had to say about that, man. Much love to everybody. Uh, rest in peace to a legend, Nipsey Hussle. We all got love for Nip, man. We're going to always have love for Nip. He's a leader. He's a role great. was a great role model. Somebody that I listen to on a regular basis. Somebody that got a lot of love for it, man. I respect him to the fullest, man. I'm a Nipsey Hussle fan to the fullest, man. If you only knew. <laughs> I guess y'all can tell, man. Yeah, I can tell 100% that I'm a Nipsey Hussle fan because I'm. I've been so invested in this situation. Been pissed about it. Uh, extremely pissed about everything, man. I would have loved the opportunity to actually meet him. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I was pissed about it. Pissed about a lot of stuff about this whole situation. I don't like it at all. It really kind of um, hit me in the wrong kind of way. Seeing him let it go like this. Especially when he dropped that Victory Live album that was such a classic. And he was just in the, in the middle of really just breaking out as an artist. And it just hit me, hit home like in a disrespectful way to see somebody despicably shoot him and then kick him in the head. It really, it really touched me in the wrong kind of way. I really was pissed about that. You know what I'm saying? So, 
Yeah, man. I don't even want to talk about it. It made me mad as hell. But, uh, yeah. Um, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that made me lose my train of thought, man. <laughs> it made me so mad, man. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man. I'm going to get off that because I'm going to get mad. Uh, yeah, but uh, I was listening to a D.L. Hughley talk, man. And he was speaking some surreal stuff. And Vlad was showing them different um, videos of people in L.A. that was a part of the gang life. But their whole thing was just putting in work. And D.L. Hughley was saying... He connected more with Eric Holder as a 15-year-old kid, just putting in work for his set. You know what I mean? The blood set out there. So it's like uh, he understood the mentality of that. But as we get older, we have to mature and become better people. And that's what it's all about. That's why I say me, I was a, a, a young kid on that uh, uh, game-banging thing. Then I changed it around, you know what I'm saying? People cleaned me up. You know what I'm saying? My experiences in life made me a better person. That's why I keep saying, man, we got to be a better culture and a better people and stop doing threats all over the internet, stop hurting their, our brothers, stop doing all this negative stuff. And anybody promoting negativity on their channels and what they're doing is, a, is, a, is an abomination. That's why I say bro shouldn't have never posted nothing like that. We got to stay in a positive vibe because all that's doing is creating hate and enemies by putting out negative things. And like I say, you can have your opinion, but a lot of times that negative stuff will, will bring the energy that will come back upon you. And that's why me, I only put out positive energy. My energy is, I don't have an idea of who Cowboy really is or what's his case. I don't know if he's a solid individual or not. I just know his statements are going to be analyzed in the courtroom by, <laughs> by a lot of people, man. And I feel like he should he should make comments like that on the internet. You feel me? Respectfully, man. I respect him and his family. But if he ain't had an involvement for him, much blessing to him, man. And I pray blessings upon him. You know what I'm saying? That he be okay. As well as I pray for uh, Nipsey kids and family, man. Pray that they all be okay, man. And I know it's hard on everybody that got love for him and people that's close to him. So it's just much respect, much love to all of y'all. I love the whole L.A., man. I enjoyed myself when I was in L.A., man. I mean, everybody showed me love, much respect out there. But like I say, man, this situation, it, it really hit everybody in a bad kind of way. So everybody want answers that they're not getting. You know what I'm saying? I respect Gang for what he said. Everybody just got to be quiet for a minute, man, and just let the smoke clear. Because there's a lot of smoke and mirrors out here, and we can't figure out where it's coming from. And we have to figure out what is going on with this situation. I think a lot of people ain't going to rest until they figure it out. And you know me, man. I'm going to keep digging until I find out the answers to this, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't like the way it was done. I don't like the way they did them. I don't, I, don't, I don't like it, bro. Every time I think about it, I get a very angry feeling that go through my veins. Like, dang, bro. Like, the man had kids and everything, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all can fight, but god dang, bro. You know what I'm saying? It was just too much, man. And, and every time I think about it, it pissed me off. But like I say, man, I'm just, yeah, man, that's all I'm saying, though. Like, we don't got no disrespect towards Cowboy or anybody that they keep naming. I really wish they would start using Big U name as some type of uh, a fall guy. Please write, stop writing that in my comments. I don't believe that Big U stuff. I believe that's all BS. And they're making all these fake notes and stuff with Big U. Stop that mess, man. Um, But the Cowboy thing, I feel like his... He's, he, he's doing interviews that's looking suspicious because he's changing things. That's all it is, bro. You might be innocent as heck, bro. But you make a if you make a video and say one thing in one video and say something different in another video, then it kind of makes things look fishy and weird. And if that footage never surfaced of the first... Because you got to think about it, The court case going to come. We know the court case got to come before the footage. When the court case comes, the footage is going to be released. We already know that because we got a lot of people that got... The ability to get that information once they hit the court and once they put play the tape in the court You know what I'm saying? So like I said once they get revealed or all the information on it I just I just I just hope everybody's story that's involved or around is accurate You know what I'm saying? Because they're gonna release that footage and if that footage never come out A lot of people gonna lean more to, to uh, a fishy cuz or cowboy if it never comes out Like if they say that when I say come out, I mean if it never get discovered or they never have it, then it's going to look weird to the world. You know what I'm saying? So it's not no weirdo or Facebook or nothing like that. Bro, they just going off the facts of what they saying, bro. If that tape never goes to the courtroom or they never analyze that tape or it's never to be found, that's going to come off weird. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, I'm sitting there having a conversation with them. I'm just like, bro, you might be innocent as hell. You might have nothing to do with this, bro. But at the same time, if you're making interviews like that, you got to watch what you say. Because everybody's analyzing, not just me, not just the next person. It's hundreds of thousands of millions of people analyzing those videos over and over, over and over. What word he said right here? What word he said right there? What word he said right there? What, what, they analyze the pictures on Facebook, everything. You think just them, the LAPD doing the same thing. 
I'm just being real, bro. That's all I can do is be real, man. I am being there, Charlie. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button for me, man. I respect all of y'all there. Love y'all, man. Put God first, family, and finances. I just be speaking from real since being real, bro. They don't look at all of this, bro. <laughs> That's why I keep saying, bro, just don't do no more interviews, bro. If you innocent, bro, just stay out of the way, bro. Let, let the smoke clear. Let every holder get his time, bro. Get out of the way, bro. You ain't got nothing to do with this, bro. Leave, that, leave it alone, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I don't know you personally, so I can't accuse you of nothing. I don't know you. There's nothing about you. So like I say, it's the internet, bro, that's going to keep analyzing you, bro. If you keep doing those interviews, just don't do no interviews, bro. See what I'm saying? <laughs> don't do no interviews, bro. Don't do those interviews, man. For real, real, man. Like I say, man, that's all I got to say about that, man. Much love to everybody out there. If Cowboy ain't got nothing to do with it, he's innocent 100%. I don't know the man. Much love to him, man. And we real sorry for the loss, man. I know if that's your best friend or whatever the case, how, which our relationship was. It's just, it's, it's just sad, bro. You know what I'm saying? All we do is, is pray blessings upon you, bro. But like I said, if you don't do no more interviews, bro, please don't, man. This, this from your mans, bro. If you ain't got nothing to do with it, you innocent, bro. This from your mans. Don't do no more interviews when you're doing threats and stuff like that, bro. Don't do it, bro. And tell that man to take that, that video down, bro. Please tell him to take that, that interview down, bro. Like, please, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I'm, I'm just speaking from truth, bro. That interview need to get taken down, bro. That is, that's not the interview you want to put up right now. I'm, I'm just saying, bro. I'm just talking, bro. That's all I'm saying, bro. I just feel like that interview. I seen that shit. I was like, oh. I say, bro, don't say that on the camera, bro. Like I say, man, everybody gonna do what they feel like they need to do. I can't tell the man what to do. But I'm just saying, bro, from experience, that ain't like, that ain't something you want to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At all. You know what I'm saying? Because anybody that's connected to that, they gonna come right for you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Cowboy made that interview that said this. Woo the woo. Cowboy. That's all I gotta say, bro. I ain't gonna say no more about it. I just feel like those interviews will get you lined up, bro, with the with the LAPD. Because they gon' anything happen to anybody in LA that's been making videos or whatever the case may be, they gonna say Cowboy was involved. They gonna say that, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. Don't put videos out there with threats, bro. That just don't look good, bro. I'm telling you. I'm just telling you, bro.